Hey, 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 friends, and welcome back to And Then There Was Style. Now, if this is your first time here, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel to become part of our home decor family and just browse through some of our other older videos. You guys, I have videos on almost every type of home decor style, but in today's video, let's talk about how to properly execute a bold room. So before we get started, please head on over to facebook.com and join our group and then there was style. It's absolutely free to join. Also, follow me on TikTok and Pinterest and then there was style. I was just kind of searching for other ways to connect and speak with you all that's not just here on YouTube since, you know, we all can't be on YouTube 24 seven. Anyway, I'd love to connect with you guys. Okay, now let's get to the video. Now, while we are all for tried and true neutrals, there is something positively alluring about a room that's just bursting with color. Whether it's a classic orange and blue living room or even a striking red dining area, the colorful spaces that you are going to see in this video will hopefully inspire you, motivate you, and just really push you to take a walk on the wild side. So if you're ready to take a leap into bold color, follow these tips and tricks for decorating with bold colors and your room will look stylish, vibrant, and gorgeous. Number one, how about some jewel tones? Decorating with jewel tones packs a visual punch and makes a seriously bold statement. But the trick is to make that impact without it turning super overpowering or just garish. So how do you do that? Make sure your bold colors stay sophisticated by choosing shades that aren't too bright. Bold paint colors with muted tones are going to feel more visually soothing. Additionally, determine your level of commitment to the colors you've chosen by containing it to a small room like a powder room or a laundry room, maybe even a closet, if you're not too sure that you want to go all in. Now, if you haven't decided if you want to make that huge leap for a bold color for your living room or another exterior room that people actually see, experiment first with accessories that are that color like pillows, bedding, and throws. A space can also be made super cheerful by just introducing a bold and colorful piece of accent furniture. Number two, the new neutral. Now, a navy blue color scheme on your walls can actually almost act as a neutral backdrop that can just about pair with almost every other color. You can try the bold blue color with hot pink, pale blue, bright red, grass green. I mean, the sky is literally the limit. Your room will pop with the perfect amount of contrast thanks to all of that soothing navy blue. So if you want an easy update, it's easy to decorate with bold colors without spending a lot of money. Just switch out the lampshades or try an interesting throw. Found frames at a thrift store could easily be spray painted for a low cost update. Next tip, the solution to your problem is all in a can of paints. Experimenting with bold colors in smaller spaces like hallways or powder rooms. A vintage piece of furniture that's gotten a fresh lease on life with a new paint can be a low cost solution. Just about anything that you already own can be painted with a bold color palette for an instant refresh. When you're ready to try something new, just pull out a can of paint. Next tip, mix and match patterns. When tastefully selected and paired, different patterns can make your bold living room even more interesting. Follow these tips when mixing and matching patterns. Seek out unique styles like black and white geometric curtains and accent wall. Use cold neutrals as the foundations for eclectic patterns or create a bohemian inspired living room furnished with pattern upholstery and accents. Distribute patterns evenly in your room and you can use anywhere from one to three different patterns. 
One word of caution though, don't place too many patterns on top of each other. Sometimes it can really disrupt the harmony. Another tip for you, play with shapes and sizes. Selecting pieces belonging to the same size and shape can make your living room look a little bit clinical and boring. No one wants to actually live in a doctor's office. So make sure it features a range of shapes and sizes. Play with textures and materials as well. Adding distinguishing textures and fabrics is a great way to achieve a bold and striking living room. Another great tip would be to carefully choose your home accessories. Just as you want to go bold with the colors and patterns, you want to go bold with your home decor choices as well. A bold artwork or accessory will surely stand out when placed on a neutral palette of whites or blacks. But just be sure to balance bold decor with neutrals in your furnishings and living room finishes. So if you're going for a bright fuchsia room, for instance, you can definitely go bold with your artwork or you can go for a more subdued artwork and let your walls really do the accessorizing for you. And one of my last tips would be to stick with a theme Going big and bold doesn't mean going chaotic. If you want to decorate with a ton of colors, choose artwork and patterns that work really well together. While you can't always stick to the pieces made by one artist, you can create cohesion and harmony in your living room or any other room of choice by choosing pieces that feature similar colors, shapes, and motifs. Okay guys, so as we near the end of this video, please do me a favor. If this is not your first time here, you already know what I'm going to ask. If it is your first time, I want you to tell me what room that you liked, you were instantly drawn to, what is your home decor style or personality? And I know that I gave you just a plethora of options to choose from. So if you aren't quite sure which one you liked or remember which one you like, just let me know, would you have a bold room in your home? Is this something that you would prefer, prefer maybe for like a vacation home and not in your um, traditional home that you live in? Just let me know. I'm all ears. Let's continue the commentary down in the comment section. Alright guys, so I've already asked you to comment your favorite bold room down below in the comment section. Now if you want to know mine, it is this gorgeous room right here. This room is giving me bold, it's giving me very luxe, it's giving me modern, it's giving me just rich vibes. I absolutely love this room. All right, guys, that was today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with other home decor lovers, and subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss an upload. It's been so fun, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe. Bye.